what's up guys welcome to this video blog in this video blog we're going to be installing some modifications to the MRS due to some things that happened during this rainy autocross event and we're also going to be throwing on the hard top on the S1000 as we prepare for the winter season I really wanted to make a video blog on this autocross especially because it was pouring rain in a mid-engine car I really wanted to show how stable the car was and how easy it is to drive in the wet Unfortunately, my GoPro angle was crap, and you guys would be watching 20 minutes of steering wheel. But anyway, in this footage you can see how stable the MRS is, and look at my steering inputs which are really smooth and have minimal corrections. I'm also able to open up the throttle early, especially here, down this back straight. This really gives me an advantage over FR cars in the wet. I'm really able to open up the power of the 2ZZ, especially with the low torque, as I won't get any wheel spin compared to higher power cars. This run actually got me in first place. I had to leave early unfortunately as the day was getting drier for another event. But the car was doing great. You can see how stable the car is and the ground is soaking wet. It's pretty safe to say that snap oversteers pretty much a bit. Woo! There you are, that was my fastest time of the day in the pouring wet. Now let's jump into the video blog I prepared for you guys today and hopefully you guys enjoy. Alright, so we got a package. Oh shit, excuse me, toge doge. What is it? So this is a Lotus uh, 2ZZ coil cover. Um, if in the last autocross it was raining a lot and I was getting a misfire code and when I looked at the part of the valve cover with the coils it was all flooded with water so we're gonna put this on to prevent that I'll just make some coffee this is how you afford car parts you don't buy coffee from the store so we got our coffee let's see what this comes with Hi, Toge Doge. Here's the cover. Looks pretty good. It's ABS plastic. Um, it says this is OEM. And then comes the directions. Apparently, we're just gonna have to put some studs. And then they have the provided some hardware to do that. So it looks like we're just gonna put these like these studs on, and then that'll give us a place to put the bolts here. So I think we're gonna put the studs on and. Attach it to the valve cover, and then there's another set of nuts that you put through here. So it should be pretty easy. Not much of a tutorial, but we'll throw it in the video blog. Alright guys, so here's the beauty of YouTube. I had no idea how to take out a stud, but now I know. You just have to put two nuts. You tighten the top one on top of the bottom one, and they lock against each other. And then, I don't even have a wrench that fits in here. But, it's coming out with these hose pliers just twisting the bottom nut now see guys this is what YouTube's all about things I didn't know one minute ago so according to the directions we just screw this on until it hits the bottom and that's the bottom and then we put a nut on I'll do the other side first It's always good to at least start things by hand threading so you can feel if it's cross threaded or something like this one's not going in nicely. Alright so I'm just gonna thread this nut on. They are the locking type with like that plastic or rubber in the middle so it should be twisting to the right and driving this uh, more into the valve cover. And these are only 10 millimeters, so you don't want to over torque it. Um, just don't be dumb and turn it so hard when it threads to the end. So now, this should fit nice and flush. And it does. So we have total coverage. All sits flush. Looks good. So what do you guys think? Um, so we got this because like I said, there is a misfire from 
what I believe was water flooding the coil pack area. Uh, it was flooded with water on that last rainy autocross from the vented stock hood. So now there's a cover and it's pretty flush. Water would probably go off and not go in there. So it also looks really nice. The weather forecast says it might be rare. You know, it's November and it's really rare for it to not rain this much in my area. So um, I'm gonna give this a wash cause it's really dirty and the car's been good. So why not wash it? So we already put the Lotus cover on. Now we're gonna do my hard top on the S2000. And so we're gonna move the Miata back and then move this out so we can put the hard top on. Gotta take this stuff out. Do all of this just to put it on. So you have to get your uh, bro to lie down on the top of your roof. That's about wraps it up for my winter prep, I guess. We got that cover on here, the lotus cover, and I got my hard top back on. So this is a Forbidden USA single-sided carbon hardtop. Here's the fitment. It doesn't leak or anything or make any wind noise. And it's single-sided carbon. I think it's called single weave or whatever, one-way weave also. There's no leaks or anything. It does creak, but it's not due to the hardtop. It's due to your like foam things that at the bottom, your seals. Uh, most people put felt so it doesn't like rub. So as you could imagine, like rubber against rubber um, will make some noise. But yep, yeah, so we got the hard top on. Maybe I'll go for a drive. Yeah, for now, I think that's gonna wrap up my little video blog here. Um, I don't really know what to call it, but I guess I'll call it winter prep because we put the thing on the Lotus to prevent water and then we put the hard top on on the S2000. Until next time, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the little video blog here. And um, yeah, we'll see you around. Maybe we'll go for a little drive after. Uh...